All right, so quickly to dive into the video, um, installing Windows 10 on this computer, I was able to get the ISO from the Microsoft website uh, so I can get a fresh, clean, legal copy of Windows 10. And as you can see here, I booted up uh, with F12. I hit the USB Windows 10 on it and it booted right up. Now, before this happened, I got a uh, message stating that I needed to um, image the USB with MBR, Master Boot Record. So, and then I was able to boot off of Windows 10. I guess the uh, one that we always use is the non-NBR. I forget what the scheme is, but um, we're, we're diving right in here. Before you do this step, make sure that you save all your data. I'm not responsible if uh, anything bad happens, but definitely back up your data before you hit anything on um, right after the screen. So I'm just gonna start deleting these partitions because I tried to do the refresh, but that didn't work. There was like two windows on top of each other. I believe it said it had a Windows Home license, but the Windows, it was Windows Pro installed on top of it. So. I was able to use a product called Show My Key, and it gave me the Windows 10 Pro key that's on this computer. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna partition this so in case the customer comes in the future, um, there's already a partition on it, and I can just throw the data on there and just delete the Windows partition. So uh, I've seen that sometimes it does that ha that happens sometimes a customer might come in you know with the worst problem we give a 60-day warranty with all of our work just so the customer can feel comfortable that if he or she gets another password I mean another virus you know it doesn't have to pay again so what I did here was I just activated the new partition by selecting it as soon as you change the partition you know the other half is gonna be the one that a, um, like a D drive. So uh, what I did, I just clicked on here, I hit new and then apply and it applied that partition. You can also do that in Windows. I'll show you guys um, in another video how to do that. But as you can see, I'm gonna install it at the 348 uh, gigabyte. Now, I should make it more or less, but if the customer wants to bring it back again, all I can tell them is just dump um, what you do want on the D drive. And there you have it. It's gonna install, it's probably gonna take about 20 minutes. I uh, hope you guys learned something. If you got any questions, definitely put them in the comments. If I did anything wrong, I mean, we're here to help each other. Two heads are better than one. Everybody makes mistakes. We try not to um, with these videos, but you know, sometimes um, somebody might have a better idea, so. Basically, to start the conversation, this video is made. If you already know how to install Windows 10, uh, so be it. Um, any questions, problems, concerns, feel free to subscribe. We're going to be putting every single work that we have uh, from a customer. Whenever a customer comes in, I'll be uh, posting it online. It's a good uh, practice so I can also show the customer what we did and see where here the customer's um, funds are actually going.